Remember the good old days when people would just say, learn to code bro? And by following that advice, there was a good chance you could land a high paying tech job. Well, that isn't the case anymore. It's no secret that the barriers to entry for many tech jobs have gotten higher. And it's not uncommon nowadays to hear stories of engineers sending out hundreds, sometimes thousands of resumes only to hear nothing back. You might even be in this situation right now. That's why in this video, I wanna share some tips and strategies to help you in your job hunt. Now, this first tip might seem obvious, but I think some people need to hear it. It's always tempting to go after big name companies like Google, Meta, and Amazon, but those are the companies with the most competition. In general, the tech job market is more biased towards senior talent, and bigger companies have the budget to hire senior engineers. So unless you have five or more years of experience, it's gonna be an uphill battle, but it's not impossible. This is why I recommend applying to smaller companies like startups. Many startups are hiring right now, and the bar isn't as high as it is at mainstream companies. Another recommendation is to keep an eye out for contract work. I know everyone is looking for full-time employment, but sometimes contracts can turn to full-time offers down the road, so don't discount them. It's important to remember that job hunting is a job in and of itself. So if you're seriously looking for a job, you need to apply to several jobs a day, every day. It's best to cast a wider net and apply for jobs you wouldn't normally consider. Another effective tactic is to apply to less competitive locations. While tech hubs like Silicon Valley, New York, and Seattle are some of the top places for tech jobs, you can try other emerging cities like Austin, Denver, or Raleigh. If you get talking to a recruiter about a position, ask them if there are other locations or offices that are hiring for the same position. You'd be surprised how much opportunity there is out there if you look outside your state. The reason is that companies in such locations are often still building their talent pools and, and are more open to considering candidates who might not have traditional backgrounds but bring unique skills and perspectives. Plus, these locations can offer a better quality of life and lower cost of living, which can be a huge plus for some people. So definitely try this out if you can. Next, we have networking and referrals. With the market the way it is now, it's more important than ever to have a well set up LinkedIn profile. You want to make it as easy as possible for recruiters to find your profile. Use keywords relevant to your industry throughout your profile to improve searchability. For example, if you're an iOS engineer, you might want to mention things like Swift, Objective-C, Core Data, etc. in your profile. You want to make sure your experience section has detailed descriptions of your responsibilities for each role. Also, Try and get endorsements from colleagues that can help spice up your profile and add a bit of social proof, which always helps. If done correctly, you'll have recruiters reaching out to you almost daily. Some of the jobs I've gotten in the past are a direct result of being found on LinkedIn. Finally, if you want to build up your network, you need to be active on LinkedIn. This means connecting with other industry professionals, sharing insights, engaging with posts, and overall just offering value. It helps if you tap into your existing network, usually former colleagues or fellow alumni. Do this over a long enough period and who knows, maybe someone can refer you to a company or share new opportunities with you. Networking and referrals are incredibly powerful, but can take some time to get online. Regardless, you're doing yourself a disservice by not networking. While these tips are all important to follow during your job hunt, one thing that's just as important, if not more so, is your mental health. Because one thing is certain, you will face rejection. One thing that helps me deal with rejection is knowing that each no you receive brings you closer to a yes. It's all part of the process. You just need to be consistent, apply to a certain number of jobs a day, take the time to tailor your resume to each job you apply to, and try to stay positive. New opportunities are always around the corner, and dwelling on rejections will do you no good. I know job hunting is stressful, but everything will work out eventually. These are the tips I followed when I was job hunting and they worked for me, so I know they'll work for you too. If you're looking for help with coding interviews, sign up for my free newsletter to access a five-day email course where I offer a lesson on how to improve your coding interview performance each day. I'll also send out coding challenges and exclusive articles to further help you with coding interviews. So if that sounds interesting, check the link in the description and sign up today. In any case, that'll do it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.